needed uh, our crinoline this is two years but i'm not going to use all i'll use about only one yard of it i'll take measure or tape glue to measure and then our plastic cone we have the metal type of this so you can use that one if you have it our scissors for cutting our hot glue and then needle and thread some people use this um, fabric thread and so if I'm using this some people use this cotton thread but I prefer using fashion line 0.3 because this is invisible and so if you use it to sew your any color of crinoline it won't show other than this type of thread so i'll be using 0.3 fishing line if i'm to sew anything so i'll go ahead and start with this so like you saw on the thumbnail we are going to make a bow design fascinator so i will Put the end here like this together, then I will tie or I will tuck it with my needle. So we wrap it around it like this, and so. it round so you do this so it becomes fair okay Sorry, I forgot to tell you this. Before you start working with your crinoline, you see that there is some thread here. Okay, so one side of the crinoline has a thread. So you have to remove it. You see, even pulling it like this has given us a new design. Have you seen that? This is very beautiful. Okay. <laughs> So back to tucking the end here. Then I'm going to tie it and cut. Now we are going to form our bow. Okay, so I'll fold it like this. Depending on how you how big you want your fascinator to be. Okay. 
everything so i will fold it like this and i will cut this part So this I'll, I'm going to trim off this part. Then our first part of the bowl is done. Very beautiful, right? The next thing to do is to fold the other side. So I'm going to fold it like this. So like this and then fold it over. You can as well cut it somewhere here and fold. I don't want to waste my phenomenon so i'll just do it this way so you have to make sure both sides are equal okay, so this part is smaller so i'll just increase it a little let's see Is that it or no? A little more. I think this is okay. So hold it firmly and then you tuck it. So by tucking, I have already told you that you will wrap the fashion line round it like this and then so wrap it round it So here you can cut it, you can cut the rest of the canary. You put it aside and this is our bowl. I'm loving it already.
<laughs> okay so i'll tie it So you can just leave it like this, tack it on your comb and then you are good to go. But hey, no, I'm going to add something to it, I will not show you, I will not tell you, I will show you. So I'll measure. 10 inches and I will cut and what I'm going to do with this is I'll first of all tap both as like I did with this one so here I will not cut the longer thread I'll just cut the excess fishing line here and hold the ends together like this and run as run some stitches there and do some running stitches or like I'm gathering it's uh, just run some stitches there. And then I will tuck this part together. You might want to use your flyer Holding the so if you want it to be bigger, you can cut about 15 to 18 inches. By here, I just cut 10 inches. Now the right has become small. This is how I want it to be, so like this. Mm. So I'm going to tack it together with the bow. And at, at this point, I will want to use my pillow. I'll be using the wire to hold the needle. I 
or feathers you can use it to embellish your fascinator i'm going to apply my glue and then fix it in the middle here like this so like i said you can use anything you want be it beads like this flowers feathers anything you want or you think will make your fascinator beautiful so our glue is already heated and i'm going to dry a generous amount But because the clip is rubber and the glue is, uh, is also rubber, it can come off at any point in time. And so I will go ahead and tuck it with my fishing line. So that even if the glue come off or the clay come off, the fishing line or the thread will hold it. And this is our final product. So, if you want to know how I did this, check out my video on how to do a 30 beaded ball, and you will know how I did it. This is not complete, it's not a complete 30 beaded ball, but as you can see it well when you watch the video, you will know when you get to do this one. So, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and share as well. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.